Hi, everyone. Uh, on the first day of class, what I'd like to do is just, you know, take our time and ease into things. And in doing so, just uh, talk to you about the uh, course and specifically uh, go over the course syllabus. So that's what we'll do uh, today. Um, what we'll do is kind of go over the main ideas of the class and then get into specifics in terms of our readings, our different assignment types. And then uh, we'll get into the uh, course schedule and different class policies. So, you know, what I'll do is kind of walk with you through the syllabus. And so uh, this semester, I'm teaching social psychology uh, for the second time, but I'm actually doing it differently than the first. Uh, the first time what I tried to do was throw in a, a lot of different perspectives of social psychology. And although I was pleased with the class, I thought maybe be more efficient to just focus on one main perspective of sociological social psychology. And that perspective is uh, symbolic interactionism. So as I say in the course objectives, we'll be looking at what we call uh, sociological social psychology, or some people refer to it as micro sociology, kind of focusing on that micro individual level. And the main uh, theoretical perspective in American micro sociology is symbolic interactionism. So that's what we're going to do, kind of look at the background of that and then get into the key concepts and understandings and then really break it down throughout the semester. And at the end of the semester, as I say in the course objectives, I'm going to ask you to apply symbolic interactionism uh, to uh, life today. So we'll be looking at, you know, contemporary social life and examine it through the uh, lens of symbolic interactionism. So overall, that's what we'll be doing in terms of course objectives. Uh, below the objectives, you'll see my uh, personal information. And overall, uh, you have my email address, uh, but the virtual office hours, basically, you know, I'll be you know, at my computer uh, during these office hours, uh, Monday, Wednesday, 10.30 to noon, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, 1.30, 2.30. And that would be a time you could simply, you know, shoot me an email and say, you know, hey, I like to you know, ask you questions. I like to just, you know, interact with you. And we could do the interaction through uh, email. You know, if you had just one question for me, I could get back to you quickly. Or we could set up a link uh, for a Zoom meeting have our office hours virtually uh, on Zoom. And outside of those office hours, we can make an appointment. So, you know, let's say that those hours don't work for you and we can make an appointment outside of my official office hours to get together to talk about uh, anything that you'd like to talk about. So getting into our text, basically you're going to be purchasing a one textbook. I have it right here. And in that book, we'll be you know, breaking down uh, the theory and kind of looking at uh, different components of it. And then again, looking at how it applies to different uh, social realities. And so it's a good book, you know, it really does kind of unpack symbolic interactionism and a lot of contemporary symbolic interactionists uh, came together to co-author it. So um, to me, you know, it's a good read and it's a good kind of way to approach the class in terms of really concentrating on one aspect of uh, sociological social psychology. And so by the end of the semester, you'll have a very strong understanding of that perspective. But in addition uh, to the book you'll be purchasing and the book that we'll be using uh, primarily throughout the semester, I have uploaded some additional, what I call SI, SI meaning again, as symbolic contractionism, uh, some readings on our D2L page. So we'll have those readings on D2L. They're near the end of the semester, you know, after we finish the book. But nevertheless, uh, you know, the main thing you need up front is that book. So I say, you know, order it sooner uh, than later. I have uploaded the first chapter of the textbook uh, to our D2L site, and just in case you know you haven't had a chance to get the book yet, but again, uh, 
get it as soon as possible because that's kind of the main thing throughout the semester in terms of your reading and overall kind of class uh, discussions. So we'll get into grading. At the beginning of the class, we'll have one exam, kind of a short answer uh, exam in terms of breaking down uh, the perspective in terms of its background, the people that really built it, and then also some of those key ideas, uh, key principles of the framework. And then as we kind of go through the semester, you'll complete what I call reading questions. And basically, you know, I talk, I say this at the end of the syllabus. So if you go to the end of the syllabus, you know, reading questions, basically for, you know, one class period and the reading for that class period, what you'll do is read through the chapter or, you know, whatever pages I assign for that day. And you'll come up with two questions that, you know, directly and indirectly relate to the reading. And then with your two questions, uh, you'll provide context into the questions. You know, why did you ask this question? Uh, what do you think about the question? And, you know, it's a pretty easy assignment, but just to help you out a little bit, what I did do is provided an example of this. So as I'm doing this, you know, we'll go to our uh, D2L site. So if you haven't done this before, if you haven't used D2L, you can go to our homepage and then go to logins. And then you want to hit the D2L icon, after which you'll probably be prompted to log in and you log in. And then you'll find our course. Click on it and you'll go to our home page. And on our home page, you'll see you know, basically, you know, due dates, you know, kind of a schedule of what's going on in terms of assignments and when assignments are due. I'll get into some of this a little bit more in a minute. But nevertheless, if you go to the content section, that's where the majority of our course material will be in terms of assignment guidelines, uh, you know, uploaded readings. Uh, currently, you know, this is still a work in progress. Um, you know, we have uh, the class log will be located in the content section. And we have a, the introduction class video, our syllabus. But there you also find the example of what the assignment in terms of the reading questions would look like. So this was actually the same assignment, but this in my gender class, so a different class. So here, you know, there was an article that uh, Laddie uh, read, uh, you know, for that day. And then he you know, did the two questions, you know, question one, and then context into the question. Question two, again, some context into that. So that's, uh, you know, one assignment you'll be doing in the reading questions. Uh, basically, you know, a couple of questions you take from the readings for that day and then provide context into the readings. You know, how do they relate uh, to the chapter? Um, you know, what do you think about these ideas? And so on and so on. So let me turn attention back to our syllabus. And in addition to our exam and the reading questions, we'll have throughout the semester uh, topic papers. And so you have four topic papers required and there are five opportunities to do them. So again, this is a brief description of these papers. You go down to the end of the syllabus. The topic papers are basically asking you to get into the chapters and really kind of dig into them in terms of information, uh, what's being said, what are the key ideas being presented to the reader. And so if you do all five opportunities, as I say here, um, the lowest score of the five will be dropped and converted to five points extra credit. So four topic papers are required and you have five opportunities to do them. And you'll see, you know, when 
these topic papers are due. So the first one, uh, paper one due on the 22nd of September. And so you would, you know, I'll provide you ahead of time at the guidelines for these papers. You know, I'll have a few different questions, you know, I based on the chapter and then I'll provide them to you in that content section of D2L. And then you turn it in by, you know, the due date. So the second topic paper is on the self. The third one is on emotions. So again, it's pretty self-explanatory, but those topic papers are the third way you're going to earn points. And then the last way that you'll be earning points is our final paper. And I give you kind of a brief description of this final paper at the end of the syllabus, but here's where, going back to the course objectives, uh, here's where I'm going to ask you to take the uh, sociological perspective of symbolic contractionism and apply it to our life today. And you'll be kind of picking one of our class topics, one of the chapters, you could you know, concentrate on deviance, you can concentrate on social movements, you can concentrate on emotions or the self. And so that would be your main topic. And then you're going to use that topic as kind of a lens to see the world today. So, you know, we'll get into that further, but that's kind of the last thing you're going to do in the semester. And because this is a writing class, what you're going to have the opportunity to do is re um, kind of revisit the paper and revise it if you want to. So the revision is optional. You don't have to do it, but as you see in the course schedule, the final paper is due uh, during our last session uh, before Thanksgiving break. That's the 19th of November. And then over break, I'll grade uh, your final papers and then I'll give you, you know, back the papers and the feedback in your grade. And then if you choose to do so, uh, you can turn in your revised final paper uh, during our final exam period, uh, Wednesday, uh, December 9th. So, you know, a lot of people don't know, like, what does a W class really mean? The W class, you have to write, you know, a minimum 2,500 uh, words, and then a minimum you have to uh, have at least one opportunity to revise. So you're going to get in, you know, easily you're going to get in these qualifications, and then you're going to have that opportunity to revise your paper. So, you know, a little bit of writing lessons and a little bit of sociological insight in this class. So overall, you know, that's how you're going to be earning points. It's a pretty standard plus minus scale I use at 400 points. Uh, so let's get back to the D2L site because the D2L site is the main place you're going to be uh, obtaining the course contents you know, the guidelines for the uh, papers uh, for your, uh, you know, different extra credit opportunities and you know, everything will be found there. But also on the detail site is where you're going to be turning in these assignments. So going back to your home page, if you turn in your assignments, you'll go to assessment, click on assignments, then you'll see, you know, everything kind of listed kind of reflecting our class schedule. So the first assignment you're going to be turning in will be the exam uh, due the 15th of November, and then kind of go down from there, uh, paper one, paper two, and down to the final paper and the revision, if you choose to do it. So in addition to using this site, or you know this section of our D2L site, the assignment section to turn in your papers, you know, you'll click on it, you know, and then kind of drop off your assignment in this section. After you drop off your paper here, I'll be able to access it. And here, I'll grade it and I'll provide you feedback. So the feedback in your grade uh, will be in the same site as well. So you'll be able to find your grade for the assignment and then the feedback I provide uh, discussing your exam, discussing uh, the papers. And usually you're notified by D2L uh, quickly after I submit my grade and I submit the feedback. 
So, you know, nevertheless, that's where you're going to be turning in the assignments. Again, going back to the content section is where you're going to find, you know, a lot of that course content, whether it be the ongoing class log that kind of keeps you up to date on what's going on, what's happening in the near future in the class. That introduction class uh, class video, hopefully you watch by now. Our syllabus, the example, the reading question assignment, and then um, the readings that I've uploaded. Uh, chapter one, just in case you haven't had a chance to get the book yet, and those SI uh, different readings that we have at the end of the semester. So turning our attention back to the syllabus, you know, everything, you know, I think everything's pretty straightforward in terms of how the schedule works. You know, basically what you want to do is, you know, have completed the reading, you know, by that date. And so, for example, the first reading you have is for the 1st of September. So that's, you know, you need to read that by the 1st because it would be uh, on the 1st of September is where you would have had the opportunity to turn in your reading questions. Uh, for that uh, particular reading. And so again, going back to the reading questions, you have to complete uh, five. And you have, you know, numerous opportunities to do so. So you could do the first five different readings and do questions on those first five and assign readings, and then you'd be done with that assignment for the semester. Uh, or you just kind of take your time and you do your questions on readings that kind of pique your interest the most. Or, you know, I don't advise you to do this, but you can wait till it's the end of the semester to complete the assignment. But nevertheless, you know, every reading that we have, you know, in the schedule represents an opportunity to do, you know, one of those five uh, reading questions. So, in the schedule as well, in addition to the readings for that day, uh, when we have due dates, so when the exam is due, uh, when the papers are due. And yeah, you know, everything's pretty much there. And so just you know, looking at our schedule, what you see on the 29th of October, we have our course review. So we'll have finished a book by then and kind of just talk about uh, some main themes, um, some key ideas uh, from the book, uh, from the perspective as a whole. And then we'll get into your final paper. So the 11th of November, we'll kind of save that for discussions about your paper, uh, how to pick a topic, how to approach it. And then the next uh, four class periods, the way I see this working is, you know, you're, you know, I encourage you to do the readings, um, but I see this as time for you to primarily concentrate on writing that final paper. So I will be doing, you know, shortish uh, lectures, you know, on each reading and kind of tie these readings back into themes that we talked about in our book. And, you know, so you're going to be able to kind of access the lectures and kind of, you know, hear about the different readings. But, you know, you do have the opportunity to read them as well. They're not long or anything. But during this kind of time period here is where I really want you to focus on that final paper. So you'll have, you know, beginning the October uh, 29th, you know, all this time in between to write your paper and then turn it in on the 19th. And so again, you know, I take the W seriously in terms of doing what I'm asked to do as an instructor in terms of how much you have to write in terms of a quantity and that's an option to revise the paper. So we're doing what we need to do, but also in terms of a W class, I want to try to, you know, just give you some tips in terms of how to write. You know, writing is a skill like anything else that you develop over time. And the more you write, the better you get at it. And, you know, by this stage in the game, I'm not a perfect writer by any mean, but I have, you know, learned this in terms of you know, some, you know, easy you know, tricks of the trade in terms of how to construct a well-written paper. So, you know, hopefully you'll get a little bit out of that as well 
in terms of me emphasizing you know, how to write a good paper and you know, how to focus on certain things and maybe not focus on other things. So yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty clear. Uh, then, you know, some other policies at the bottom of the syllabus. Uh, please, uh, when you email me, just kind of uh, tell me your, your first and last names, the class. So it just uh, makes it more efficient in terms of answering your questions, kind of putting you where uh, you need to be in terms of the class you're taking. Um, late assignments are not accepted, but you know, like I mentioned in the class video uh, introduction, that uh, you will have an opportunity to work ahead. So by the time you access the D2L site, you know, I start to kind of upload things slowly but surely. And, um, but kind of the further we get into the semester, uh, the more kind of advanced it will be in terms of the lectures being uploaded a week, a week and a half before you, um, you know, the papers are due before you have to do the readings. So, you know, that kind of gap in between, you know, the gap in terms of when an assignment is due and when I upload kind of the information for that will allow you to work ahead. So, you know, you can wait till the due date, you know, by 10 p.m. to turn in your assignments, that's fine. But if you want to turn things in early as well, you will have that opportunity to do so. So just a little bit more information about uh, the assignments. And this, you know, uh, if you do need any learning accommodations of any type, uh, please uh, let me know and we can work together with that. And academic honesty, this shouldn't be an issue, but, you know, just always want you to read that paragraph because, you know, I do enforce the policies, uh, you know, when the uh, dishonesty uh, emerges. And make sure to read the it's actually an updated version of the uh, Title IX uh, university statement. So you wanna read that uh, for the first time or read it again if you've read it before because it has been changed. Otherwise, you know, I think that's covering it for the most part. You know, the main questions I usually get are, you know, when are we supposed to do the readings? And you're, again, you're supposed to do the readings for the day uh, they're assigned. So. You know, you want to have read the first chapter in our textbook by uh, September 1st when it has been assigned. You know, all assignments, as I say, are due on the due date uh, by 10 p.m. And again, you'll turn those in on our D2L site. And I think that covers it for the most part. You know, the one thing that I did not highlight is we're going to place a lot of uh, extra credit opportunities. So if you go to the communication tab and go to the discussion section, you'll see that I currently have the uh, first extra credit opportunity, basically uh, as student profiles, introducing yourself to your classmates, introducing yourself to me, and that gives you um, the chances to again build that intimacy and it gives you a chance to uh, earn some extra credit points. So again, I'll give you a heads up always, you know, when I put more extra credit uh, opportunities in this section of our D2L site. So I'll leave it there. Um, if you have any questions, as always, uh, feel free to uh, get in touch. And um, basically, you know, what you'll be seeing as you access the D2L page. I'll be uploading, you know, more content in terms of lectures. I'll be uploading more content in terms of the guidelines for your uh, different assignments and the like. And um, yeah, I'll leave that there. And I will uh, be in touch in terms of the course log and what I've done kind of in between now, which is uh, Thursday and Monday, the first day of class, because I imagine you know, during that window, I'll be uploading a lot more uh, course content that I have now. So we'll leave that there. Um, I was gonna say enjoy the weekend, but you probably will see this after the weekend. So I'd say uh, welcome to the class and uh, I hope we have an excellent semester.